There we go. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be you so mighty, Lieutenant Drakir, at your service. And welcome back to Blast Brigade versus the Evil Legion of Dr. Creed. And yeah, we're doing a bit of a different start today. Uh, this will be most notable in the VOD afterwards, or the VOD that will go on YouTube. Uh, because yeah, I, I did do, well, some exploring around between streams. Mostly yesterday, I must admit. Oh, and, because I, I reminded you. And yeah, I've I've explored most of the Deep Tangle, or Great Tangle, and the Icy Hollow, and a little bit of the Drill Station. I have left this area, the Wild Lagoon, alone. I uh, haven't touched this one, the uh, Toxic Ducts. I suspect we'll be heading back there sooner or later. And yeah, Creed's Fortress, we... <coughs> we barely even touched, so I presume well, we're, we're definitely heading there again. Okay. Now, what we got from that was a few extra, well, hard pieces and a few of these. Enough to make one more battery, I believe. I also found another flower for this one, as you can see here. I, well, <laughs> I got that stupid vault open with the song and such. I found a few more... Oh, I found one of these again, a blue rune crystal. And yeah, I found a bit I found a few more of the outfit items. Yeah, though now everyone has two of them. Uh, I also found some extra modules. Let me see. This one, the enhanced formula. Cure flask heals an additional health cell, but takes more time to consume. So Ooh. that that will be good for us exploring, but not during boss fights. Yeah, but that's definitely double it. So, like, exploring, you can go aside and heal. Sure, but in a bus fight, you, you want to be able to heal as fast as possible. Yeah, if this one was on a different one, we could have combined them. But, yeah, no dice with that. I also found this, Devil's Deal. Foes drop 50% more gold, but 20% of your gold is given to him upon death. Not sure who him is. Could be that bug that eats our gold every time we die. Uh, we also found this Siberian. Uh, I also found this uh, Siberian Winter. Shura's laser inflicts burning damage dealt over time. Wait, what? Yep. Everyone else, you think that's weird? Yeah, it's called Winter, and it but it does burn damage. Yeah, for. Had it been frostburn? Fine. But it's a burning, so... I do believe people say that frostburn, you know, frostbite, feels like it burns. But I could be wrong on that. Sweet. It, it, it's kind of why it's at times called frostburn, or iceburn. Okay, new battery, new module. We still have all of these over here. That we haven't found a single one of yet. It's not good. Yeah. Yes, it's further in. Probably. <clears throat> Perhaps in uh, Creed's Fortress and such. And yeah, I'm picking Battle Body just to see how much that may, that may help with some fights. Uh, yeah, I found one of those flowers, but we need another one before we can get another use of this. We'll probably and, need to find one in the next area. Yeah, and well, I. We have seven of these now, so we can at least get some upgrades. Though we'll have to choose between these two, since, well, there are four and five each. Wait, do we have other things outside to upgrade as well? Uh, oh, we, wait, have to, uh, we have to... Sp we have uh, is the that... Potion one. One. Uh, these, or, these can't be upgraded further. It's mostly just okay. the uh, blocked off uh, collectible over here. Okay. Collectible the battery. Yeah. So, we... yeah. But we need maybe one more battery. Uh, actually, do we need just one more? Let's see. Just one more battery. Uh, I'd say that health and, well, upgrades here are more important. We'll see if we have enough after this. I agree so, with you. Weapons or store? Weapons uh, or other stuff? Oh. 
Well, the store is cheaper, so it means we will uh, be able to afford the other one uh, faster. True, but we don't know what these... That's... Okay, one more primary weapon here. Can't really... It looks a bit like a shotgun. Hmm. That, that looks some... That looks like a super soaker of some sort. That also looks like a shotgun. Hmm. Now, if we get the store upgraded, we can probably get another heart piece and energy piece to make, well, a new one each. Yeah, for... So far, I don't feel we have too much problem with the weapons. Most of the time, you have the special of the time you got stuck is you either run out of health or you're only able to heal in time due to you decided to act slow. Uh, this one then. Okay, let's see. Gunslinger, tier 5. Weapon swapping briefly increases damage by 30%. Uh, okay, we get a primary weapon from him. <laughs> Bubble gun. This makeshift, uh, makeshift rapid fire plasma launcher earned and its cute nickname for making things go pop. Okay, oh. no health upgrade, sadly. Uh, hmm. Right, part of his energy shell. We, we do need those. Let me check. We have three left. How much does it take to open up this place on the left? Let's see, two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can we can get the gun and this one. Or do we save up for the weapon shop? Though honestly, I... the the guns he has provided so far have been a bit disappointing, I find. Yeah, but at the same time. <sighs> like you were able to find below the Last time we treated uh, this stream, this you had maybe about one or two, and you were able to find additional five between the streams. Yeah. I hope to increase in yeah. commonality. I don't think I found five. I think I found like three or four. Oh. Anyways, we hope we probably we probably can't find enough to just get everything. So I say we get this because well, getting a thousand gold is going to be a pain in the neck. And hello in chat, Marco. Let's see, as soon as I joined and saw the candle on Drax's head, an image of him trying to balance it popped into my mind. <laughs> Don't worry, it sits there properly. For the moment. And yeah, welcome, Marco. <laughs> welcome to Blast Brigade versus the Evil Legion of Dr. Creed. And welcome! One thing that they... Uh, one thing that they... <laughs> one pun they should have gone with is that they should have called the gold credits. Credits, but creed. Oh, dear. Okay. Let's see how this thing does. Uh, 900 gold shouldn't be too hard. If you're lucky. It, it, we could, in theory, be able to grind the gold off stream, couldn't we? Could, but it would take time. Yeah. Okay, that fire, that really does fire fast. I'm, I think it actually reaches farther than the machine gun. Okay. I have a feeling the orcs would love this. <laughs> so they have a similar weapon. So their weapon is basically a, they just... Uh, decided to tinker with a shield generator. And turned it into a weapon. What are you gesturing for, Uku? All right, I, I got the I got the magic ocarina from the vault for him. Have you found this? Here's your damn flute, Orku. It took you long enough to find this big dummy. Kind of working on my last nerve, there, pal. Never mind. I'm very good at waiting. They don't call me Uku the Patient for nothing. I I might have said this before, but I think they I think his actual name is Uku the Liar. Why don't we roll it back to Uku the Generous? You're gonna, <laughs> you were gonna reward me. A sincere gratitude is its own reward, isn't it? What? No. <laughs> so literal. Well, you earned it. Yep. Oh, hello. That's actually perfect. Uh, it belongs in a museum. <laughs> of course. Well, that's an extra heart and an extra energy cell. 
Yeah, yeah. blood hag. Look at the health bar. I feel like you like you kind of needed that for his uh, the boss fight he was in. Okay. Apparently, the bubble gun is Margot's favorite weapon. Okay. Uh, right. Good day to you. Uh, nothing new from you, Galahad. I know you were pulling my leg, but I could see, you know, but I could see you as a Florida gal. It was a joke, Jefferson. Nah, you've got family from somewhere besides the ice waste of Siberia. Morocco, okay? My father is from Morocco. What? How did he end up in Siberia? I don't know. How did I end up having this conversation? <laughs> Wait, does this even make sense? Spies have complicated the paths, okay? Now, can you please let me clean my rifle in peace? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we need to head to the complete opposite end of the islands. So, either I try to find a way through Creech Fortress all the way over there, or we head back through all of this. Oh, wait, no, we can just fast travel there. Okay. <laughs> I never got that. Good thing that I noticed it at the last second. Otherwise, it probably would have been like half an hour of trying just to get to here. Yeah, so this is what I mean, like... Sure, grinding the money will take time, but doing off-stream is probably better than doing on-stream. Yeah. So it would definitely get boring quickly. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, you already skipped some ammo, yeah. No, and it refills once we get to a hammock anyways, I believe. Yeah, but uh, if, if what she said is true, her father moved from Morocco to Siberia, that's quite a climate shift. Yeah. Okay, there's our freaking ninja. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see how this goes with a better weapon and some more, well, health and everything else. These annoying things still. I probably should just shotgun those since they get up close anyways. Ow. Okay, also something. Yeah, you can actually hurt the flowers when they're closed. I thought they I thought you could only hurt them whilst they were attacking. Oh. Okay, I don't understand your mindset, but that's usually something in some games, though. So... Okay, I, I can see you misunderstanding uh, some part of it by looking armored. Yeah. So, yeah. To use your best mechanic, it usually is not with flowers. Yeah, these oh, crabs are mind. pretty damn fast for, well, crabs. Uh. Yes, I know that they aren't gen they aren't as slow as people usually think, but still. Yeah, I was trying to remember. Don't we have crabs that eat all very fast? I try to remember, but I don't remember any. Okay, Galahad's turn. Uh, I will do. I have advice. I think we've talked about this crab species before, and uh, after hearing something from another YouTuber reading the chat, I feel like I should probably say this. If you want to camp on the beach, I'm sure you don't camp on a beach that has coconut crabs. Yeah, because they try to get into stuff, I believe. Uh, worse. They may actually try to eat you for the thing that you did. Uh, yeah, also a good reason. Yeah, I'm not sure how true that is, however, but... Considering they may have eaten a certain uh, pilot's corpse before they could even find it, it's a theory, however. I will not be surprised. Hurt. Yeah. I'm not sure they still have found the body or not, so there's just a lot of things going on about that one. It's a bit hard to know if it is true or not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her body has never been discovered. And yeah, and probably unless has it's been mummified. It's just not going to be found. 
yeah, uh, I forgot what they found the ship, the uh, airship, but yeah, one of the speculation is that, uh, I think I said it before, that the coconut crabs uh, got to the body. I just unsure they actually would try to eat a sleeping person, but no seeing what I mean, have heard how they can be, I will not be surprised, so. Even if they don't try to eat a living person, I would recommend still to, just in case, not do that you sense. Mean? Let's be honest, even if the crab is just checking if you're alive, it's probably still gonna hurt. Yeah. Okay. And I think I've even heard that they can actually remove fingers and hands. Yeah. Like, cla the claps. crabs are pretty strong with those pincers of theirs, which a lot of people underestimate, which leads to, to videos of just idiots who... Idiots online teasing crabs to pinch them and such, and living to very much regret it. Yeah, do there have some pin some people that have been able to survive mud crab uh, pincing without it uh, ripping off the skin and all that? Still hurt as heck, however. Yeah. Even the pinch you know, so they use mud crabs, which I wouldn't really say that to learn is an actual animal. Luckily yeah. not big as those in Skyrim. Oh, perfect hammock for me. Perfect indeed. But yeah. The bigger the crab, the more reason you should not mess with them. Yeah, and even even non-crabs, like lobsters, like... I think I might have told this, uh, I'm not sure if I told this on stream, but I think I have told of it. Of a somewhat recent story of some idiot, uh... I'm lacking most of the details, but I'm presuming he was working as some sort of fi uh, fish shop or something. And... Yeah, apparently he made it a bit of a habit of uh, jerking one out uh, over the lobster tank. And a, a, he was caught doing that at least twice. Whether they didn't fire him for that, don't ask me. But on the third attempt, when at, at the third go, or at least the third go that they know of, uh, the lobster took things into its own claws with matters. <laughs> it took matters oh. into its own claws. Okay, uh, yeah, you yeah, have not snip. told me that one. You have not told me that a bloody heck. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the lobster got uh, its claws on <laughs> a sausage, and from what I heard, they could not reattach it. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's a Darwin Award, because Darwin Awards aren't just about people getting themselves killed; it's just removing them from the gene pool, aka getting themselves castrated in some way or another as well. I'm uh, sure the Countess castration says you have the, still the order to attach just. Yeah, good luck uh, <laughs> getting yes. anything done with it. Yeah, there yeah, probably are methods to help with that. Yes, yeah. But also, with detail, yeah. it's gonna be harder. Yeah. Wait, don't take that out of context. You, you know what I mean. More difficult. I always said it, more difficult. Also, hello in chat, Jess. How are you doing today? I'm doing decent. Oh uh, yes, and I'm doing this and doing this well. A bit warm, but all was well. Yeah, I, I barely sealed my room off from any sunlight, so temperatures are a lot more bearable in here. And oh, Marco, that's a trick that really works for me, unless when the sun is on the side of the building. Uh, Marco, those are actually snail crab mutants from what I remember. Oof, that sounds painful. Well, some people only learn through pain, and sometimes only through irreversible damage and apparently a uh, little <laughs> apparently jess is the wicked witch of the west because they're melting i think it'll be all be melting when it is a uh, very warm weather <laughs> it's it's metaphorically it's melting. okay that's hey. that's a new one what the hell was that weapon some sort of yeah, magnetic staff or something. Uh, it's not like a gun, is that their own version of a railgun? Yeah, not a railgun, it's more like uh, some sort of summoner or fireball staff, only it summons it up from the ground. What the heck, Marco? Yeah, it's 
I put a blanket in the freezer during the night and now I'm chilling in it. Well, it was definitely chill. Look, it kind of stuff like that, also not. But yeah, those are similar, which I have done on stream. Just you're taking a frozen towel. But, but an entire blanket? I think he might be Ooh, meaning a towel, a... but... I hope a towel for... You may need a damn big freezer to bring a blanket. And then it also depends on what kind of blanket it is. Uh, if, he, if it's without anything in the cover, it wouldn't be that... Uh, it wouldn't be that hard. But... Yeah, though I do worry it might be rather... Um, deranged when it falls. So we may have a new problem instead. Uh, I'm really not going to... Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, they made it out. Oh, whoa. There we go. Early I... auto break is at it again. Okay. Yeah, come but, yeah. on. There's a towel, yeah. I recommend people definitely try to put towels in a short moment in the freezer and put it on your shoulders or as I have done at times on my head. Nope. A, I will not call it a turban for it's more like a helmet almost at that point. Okay. So another flower here. I, I actually noticed when you were near one of these flowers, uh, there's actually, well, offshoots of it around the place, similar with the crystals. Alright. Oh. oh, hello, that goes into the fore and background. Yeah, wait, 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 what was it? I forgot almost entirely what you said again. I mean, what was visible by outcrop? Uh, the plan, the plants we need for our heat for upgrading the flask, they they will have flowers growing nearby it, like here. Ah. And, yeah, crystals will have crist. Yeah, for there will be crystal outcroppings near where the crystals are. And these are bomb dispensers. Okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, remember the first time we found one of those flowers, we actually saw it in a room with a little flowers in. Oh, like a bandana. Again, it would depend on the size of the towel. I did it like with a small towel, but then I changed to a clean one that was bigger. Okay, so I'd be too big for a banana. Bandana. It's all, also that sound like a banana. It's said banana. So whenever you get a bandana, it'll be yellow then. No, it's always been white so far. Hmm. I don't even own a yellow towel. I always said yellow banana there. <laughs> okay, there's little meters on these things to show when they will pop back. I kind of like that. Yeah, it that way you can see the time uh, what what the timing is instead of having to guess. Yeah, like do uh, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. We have noticed that there's a, at least one uh, enemy that has a counter on their gun. Is is? Yep. I thought oh, that was a nice detail, but then realized it's gonna be hard to keep a track on that when you're busy trying to avoid everything else. Yeah. So if they're like, okay, good idea, maybe not. Just not in this scenario. Not maybe not as useful. Yeah, it could be probably useful on one-on-one, -on -one, like on a boss fight and all that, but... But do you need a room with several of them and uh, several on enemies? You, you like to not like, keep track of that uh, counter. Yeah. Still nice little detail. Oh yeah, definitely nice detail. Maybe it was a bit overplanned, and there was one of them. Uh, uh, um... Those monitors... Yeah, they... They've been around for a bit. Yep. 
I'll take that. Let's sit here. <laughs> You only now noticed it, the other one had it as well. Oh! Right terrible place this is. This familiar territory, Galahad? Aye, they imprisoned me here for sending me to the lamps. They first tried to break me. She first tried to break me. The overseer. She's the most sadistic of the Legion. Batty. Yeah, bah. But survived, I did. Sorry to hear it, buddy. Torture is no bien. Especially the way that she does it. I almost begin to enjoy. What am I saying? The hell's with her. <laughs> okay. Galahad might be in the bondage. Either that or... We are dealing with someone who is... Uh, very dangerous in out of torture in Psyche. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Marco, just gonna look. Okay, have fun, Marco. But yeah, you uh, heard yourself how he reacted to his own words. Yeah. No, uh, like, he might, sure, he might be he was unaware he had that the kink, but it also could be a sign that uh, there was something more going on that uh, I suspect had happened to the other as a kind of... Um, yeah. Turning foes uh, into allies, or at least yeah, cannon fodder. Yeah, a kind of very painful uh, brainwash. But, oh, hang on. Okay, maybe I should not say Stockholm Syndrome. Yep. That might be not correct, but you probably get what I mean. Yep. Actually, no, that probably is not correct, but yeah, there's something potentially scary about her. They're just being a torturer. Okay, the new... The new basic enemies do still go down in a few shots. Oop. Oop. If I can land these. Wait, wait. all right, do you know I remember having a counter with the ones with the a jetpack? So, yeah, more with a counter now. On your there we go. Okay, those bomb, <laughs> those bomb layers are going to be a nuisance if they keep appearing in fights. Ooh, definitely. Yep. 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 Give me a sec. Getting called the outside. The levitating larceny nightmares. That's a line. Give me a sec. All right, what a timing. Okay, uh, just ask you to go get a, a gifts coupon and some ingredients for a uh, chocolate pudding recipe that I found on YouTube from my channel called Cooking Haru, which, well, <laughs> a bit of a shameless plug, but I like what they I saw of them so far. But they do simple recipes and then just, just explain them simply and, well, correctly as well. <clears throat> Ah, that's very nice. Wait, they told you to go groceries now. Not now, later. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna ask you earlier before stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue with this. Galahad, you don't mean that. We had such fun together. And look at you now, coming back to me all on your own. Such a gentleman. Hey, a gentleman I be. Which is why I'll give you a chance to right your wrongs, for I have to right them for you! Free the island folks from your prison, and be spared my retribution. Oh please, don't make me laugh. Prisoners only leave this place headed in two directions. Towards the labs to become like you, or towards the grave. <laughs> it's just... Already are we looking as well? Okay, have fun you two. 
<clears throat> yeah, have fun, you too, Your and... Mind's been broken. Your body's stolen. I pity you, but I won't go easy. You'll pay, Overseer. Oh, woe is me. What will I ever do? If only I had a big, strong man to protect me. It's not too late to join up with our side, Galahad. You've got all the right parts. I'm free, and I'll stay free, lassie. Those prisoners, they'll know freedom again soon enough. Oh, the is I like her design. I don't know what he described her. Like, a, uh, what we have been reading so far, and we will how he reacted. I expected her to a bit more dominatrix. Yeah, but more scary. Like a very scary dominatrix. Not mm -hmm. like the kind that you don't go on your knees for, but more of you run away from. But you know there will be way too much pain. And a likely we know all um, safety words. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, suspected that I wouldn't get away with that. But yeah, she just did sound like she was trying to manipulate him. No, it, it does also sound like she's been completely manipulated herself. Okay. Yeah. Switch that to that. The, uh, the guess also confirms sort of that... Okay. We have been dealing with people, but they all ha may have been cyborganized. Oh. Cyborg right, that's not and made into cyborgs. Yeah, yeah. I, I think a, at least a part of Creed's troops might have been the locals uh, converted. Yeah, through her, through him and her method. Like, it sounded like he was almost converted, but I avoided it. Yeah. Uh, up higher. Okay, and the staff one. Yeah, I'll, I'll just call them Electromancers for now. They can attack from off screen, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go again. Dominant Overseer. Um, well, that's one way. Yeah, okay, I, I will, uh, I agree with it. Dominant Overseer is probably a better day for, let's be honest. If they say Dominatrix there. Yeah, it would have been a, have... an eight, a rating increase. Yeah. Ah, damn it. And I recognize the voice uh, acting, though it could be just uh, a voice actor who has been able to imitate that voice rather well. No. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you hear the laughter. Is that a lot I have heard for wooden foot female villains? Um, it's more a trope of so you say? don't recognize this voice actress specifically? Yeah, it is a case of I don't know if it is it's the original voice actress that yeah. did the voice or someone who have been able to imitate it rather well. So let's be honest, a very good voice actor, especially the ones we've been surprised about at times, are able to change their voice rather well. Yeah. So sometimes you may become uh, an alternative or in some way, I guess, I guess, almost a replacement. Okay, okay, I was supposed to jump over that way. Would have been nice if it had been made more clear, game. Yeah. A replacement don't mean they just replace someone just before they sound like it, but they may the other uh, ways uh, like they, a voice actor died, but you find someone who can do a, the voice out on like, extremely similar enough for it to work. Yeah. Or again, voice acting is not easy. Yep. 
Okay, take three. With those, I can just jump over. With these, I need to climb the wall and get over her. Good. Oh, damn it. Well, it's pretty, as I think, in the same time, it's probably even one of the reasons that the reviving, uh, for example, uh, Soul Reaver and that franchise will be very hard for, if I'm right, Kane's voice actor. Is he too old or hasn't he died actually? Not sure. But the whole Sadek is about the other very iconic voice actor of a certain character. But due to it, he can also be way hard to re replace. Yeah. Because it's they go way too iconic. And, well, you can replace them, but then you have the issue of. Uh, you need to make sure you don't have someone that's similar enough to do a good enough job to not become, uh, yeah, looked down upon for failing to capture the passion, uh, personality. There you go. Yeah, like with uh, Mario and Luigi's new voice actors since the, yeah, their, their iconic one retired. <clears throat> oh, I, I had, wait, I don't think I even knew okay, about, about that one. Now. But yeah, that's probably a, a good example. He's only been in one game with it so far now, I think. But there is to be a new uh, Mario Party and a new Mario & Luigi game. So... All right. I hadn't heard... I, I didn't hear too much bad about their performance in the... <clears throat> Uh, I'm actually I'm actually blanking on the on the subtitle that the last main Mario game had. Do you know Mario and Luigi verbally speak much to the begin with, besides uh, just text? True, but still the who? Uh, okay, I'll have to keep an eye out for that attack. What the heck was that? Setting the walls on fire. No, no, you see, made that... ...sound. I'm a bit too busy trying to kill her to hear everything she's doing. Uh, I, I gotta guess... Mimic laughter and just like woohoo! It's probably easier to learn besides like, actual full out dialogues. Yeah. That's still. <sighs> still, yeah, it's not easy. But yeah. there are some things with voice acting that they make some things easier. Never take it for granted. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Wrong way. Also, I think we don't actually get hurt by our own grenade launcher. This would be weird, but also relieving. Yeah. You spoke about age rating. Yeah. Like if, if she was in the full black uh, leather get-up, yeah, that definitely would have been a bit... They, they could have risked a, uh, an age rating up. You, you do know they've been swearing quite a lot, right? 
not well not as bad as they could have there's a certain f word that they haven't heard the whole <laughs> during the entire thing so far uh i'm pretty sure they what? have used the, the f word a few times we sure not yeah but those are more considered lighter than uh, fuck and such uh depend who you ask some people we get really upset if you use either I'm sure if we'll make it now because I just was just making stupid mistakes there. Oh dear. Okay. I will say this. Hmm? I'm happy you did. I reminded you yesterday to uh, grind a bit. Imagine if you had forgotten grind the grind yesterday and tried that was today. Wouldn't call it grind more as just go explore. Like there's a difference between grinding and exploring. Point taken. But you know what I'm trying to say here. Merge without yeah. any of these upgrades. You will have gotten very punished for that. Without any yeah. extra help at all. Sign, just I expect something else. Do so I have you that they didn't go full matrix without the sign? I already expected definitely different weapon read than this. I'd say it's a uh... You could almost call it a bit of a refreshing, you know, refreshing take on a dominatrix-ish character. Yeah, before we got to know that element, as we have heard about her right. earlier through uh, reports, I expect yep. her to be more heavily armored with big guns and all that. Not floating, whatever that thing is. Now you don't need to be massively armored to be scary. Go. Again, I just need to break. Again. That. Get the fire. I don't really know what to call that uh, hovering thing. Yeah, we can call it her egg pod. Just like with Eggman. Exactly. It doesn't really look like a. Your protection. Like you put only your uh, wounding it uh, or something. Uh, a jaw guard or something. Yeah, it kind of looks like a jaw guard. There. Oh, right. I, I just remember. They did. In those rooms. Did they want us to avoid when she's angry? Yep. Oh, dear. Yeah, 
That's a new one. What the heck? God damn it, ran into that one. I actually mistook the police officer. Okay. Can I look like an old school retro police officer? From a, you know, retro uh, cartoon. Oh, retro sci fi sci -fi cartoon, yeah. Okay. Would have been nice if we got an introduction to that uh, enemy earlier because that was just a. Um, that was just unnecessary because I took more damage from that enemy than I've taken from her, I think. I May mean, probably yeah, not, but still, took a lot more damage from that than was need than was needed. Okay, not not now. That I just pay attention to her weapon. I realize what the heck is firing. There. One and two. Okay, with some luck. Ooh. Nope. You're getting okay. closer. <clears throat> Almost there. Now that we know that enemy is coming, we can deal with it. Also, yep. let me take a quick look at some things to swap around. Uh, but I, how much health do you have lost at stream? Uh, I think we. Uh, I think I found enough to add one heart from last time, and then the one we got this time added as well. Oh, hmm. I have found as many four new hearts. Let's actually try this one because I'm not sure this one is really doing much damage. Yeah, I imagine the battle body is useful against mobs, but maybe but a little bit bosses. too weak. Yeah, it might be a little bit too weak against bosses to make a. Yeah, the, the health will be extremely little. Hmm. Plus, it, it only gets its fire rate upgraded when we pick up ammo boxes, and bosses only drop those rarely. Yeah. At stages. <laughs> okay. Not um, sure if that burn damage is stacking or if I need to space those apart. But yeah, good start so far. And good stuff, I say. I gotta suspect it costs energy. Not sure if that's landed. Run through some food into the machine. I cannot finish that. Raised attack. There. <clears throat> there we go. some progress in two minutes in my new air fryer. <laughs> Get over the flames. Let's see how this laser does against the uh, freed cop.
Okay, you can take a full barrage of it. Three barrages. Okay, they are strong. Oh, I very much doubt that this is going to be the only place those will show up. So that's going to be a problem in the future. Yeah, so hopefully we'll have a uh, good enough weaponry to deal with them. Yeah. I, I think I like one we should be able to handle fine, but the more mobs Wait, that sweep them, it's going to be harder. Yeah, the only real complaint I have with the game so far is that there's... Oop. There isn't really a way of just plain upgrading the damage that our weapons do. Yeah, like, as long as you just use... Oh, damn it. Just use the coins, but... We can't do that. We need all the things we need to find to do those upgrades. Yeah, more like... Comparing this game to like Metroid games, with Metroid games you yeah you, you start off with your crappy little uh, <clears throat> pea shooter typically, but as you go through the game you find upgrades for it that deal more damage because yeah as you go the the health <clears throat> the health that the enemies have will grow exponentially. So if you were to try and fight the find the enemies in the end of the game with just your standard weapon. You would be shooting at them for minutes, probably. I'm presuming that this game so far has been more balanced with it, but I really would just like some upgrades I could buy to, to say like a plus one damage with all weapons or something. Yeah, no. Hmm. I would not be surprised if it is a case of we have to explode properly. Maybe it could be one of the modules that we haven't found. Yeah, that one of the modules we haven't found does something like that. Either that or something else that uh, will, uh, well, make the experience more pleasant. Or smooth, as you say, for it. It's still fun. It's still fun. Yeah. Got all of those. Come on. That's already going worse than last time. There. There. As long as we can avoid taking too many hits from her, this should still be doable. Especially when we just turn up the heat on her as well. Too early. Maybe I should save some of the blasts for the last stage. Ooh. Let me try not using any of the blasts here. At least not as many. Get 
Okay, the one weakness that these things have is that... Okay, not that long of a recharge time between their attacks. There. Okay, no heals, but a good amount of hearts. And a lot of energy to just blast her with. Almost got hit by that blast there. How do you do a quick recovery? There we go. Oh, that's... that's a downer. Help me! Hold on, I'm coming! I regret nothing! Nothing! Wait, what? Yeah, that was a... That was a bit <laughs> Oh geez. Split. Oh, geez. Well, well you tried. You tried. It's done the right tragic that is. I mean, I mean it was kind of self-inflicted though. though. She made her choices. Uh, did she? Did she become a cyborg willingly? And even then, was she able to make her own choices when she was made one? Wait, wait, she said help me, but then said regret not failures drop. Yeah. There's something else going on there, definitely. I... I suppose she did have that. I just... I, I was... What? What? Did not worry yourself about that lad. It got a wee bit complicated between her and I. That's all. Wait, what? Come on. About time we released those prisoners. Yep. An overseer to defeat the overseer. Maybe he was able to almost break her brainwash. Almost. Maybe. Like he, he almost brainwashed him. So I guess I we get to think... later, something later. But uh, one. Yeah, we'll we'll see if there's any more info on that. Okay. Um, Okay, I get the feeling Indeed. we're going to find our fourth character here. Yeah, I almost expected her to be, but... Unless you get the hairstyle change and that was her. I've seen some of what she looks like from, well, making the banner for the Discord events and such. But I haven't... I've, I've personally not paid too much attention to that. But yeah, I presume our fourth character is going to be this uh, warrior that uh, Uku speaks of. Uku? What are you doing here? Nah, nah, I'm not Urku. I'm obviously Ortu, his better looking brother. <laughs> you oh, have no. my gratitude, strangers. How can we repay such kindness? Jewels? Precious fabrics? The way you dress uh, <laughs> speaks to me that you may not be uh, very rich in the latter. What about the dance? We're classically trained. As tempting as that may be, we're actually looking for the one you call the Holy Sentinel. Ah, well, they've already escaped. Long ago, actually. They don't call them the Holy Sentinel for nothing. Not far from here, there's an ancient temple, and within its walls, a mighty weapon. A weapon only the Holy Sentinel can wield. You may be able to catch up, but the temple I speak of, it is a place of great danger. 
Only the Sentinel can survive its treacherous halls. I, mean, I probably could too, but I don't want to ruin the legend. You folk, on the other hand. Well, good luck. Thanks for the vote of confidence. We'll free the others and return to our seaside village. If you survive, please come see us again. Okay, I guess they should have expected that they'd have broken out on their own. Nope. I wasn't even looking yeah. for a secret. So there. Hello. Five second rule. <laughs> oh. Enemies drop health boost that disappear soon after dropping. Okay, that is going to be really useful as well. What level uh, is that wait, on? Wait. Reread that, Captain. Yeah, five second rule, I know. It can be damn useful, but it can also... Well, Depends on how quickly they disappear. Okay, Creed News Issue 40. Minions, our henchman of the week is, drum roll please, henchman number 334, Huzan. Henchman, uh, henchman number 334 has been very outspoken with his concerns on what he calls our inhumane treatment of the local population. Of course, his claims are nothing but the lies of a weak-spined armchair evildoer. Our detention center is state of the art. <clears throat> the locals are fed three square meals a day, Wait, scratch as this says, fed once every three days. <laughs> Still good. Henchman of the week comes with a special prize for number 334, a once in a lifetime trip to the very detention center he so fondly opposes. He's truly earned the time to kick back and understand what inhumane truly means. Creed out. <laughs> uh, it, Creed, is a, Creed is a piece of shit, but he is an entertaining piece of shit. Okay, and that is all that's defined there. Uh. Maybe I should look at the double barrel shotgun again to see if it actually deals more damage and such, because having to try and blast these things twice at close range is just going to get me hurt. Girl, almost back, and yeah, I was definitely making phases in the kitchen as I listened to Hillian. Again, I love this headphones as I can actually just go tune my kitchen and still hear him. Uh, just. I do have a microphone for the headset, just. I think I would not prefer to use that microphone for. Well, it's whenever. Hmm. The station at one breaks or something? Been a while since we had to use Shuru for the years. Shura? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we again for. This way, I almost thought Ow. the captain was to be delayed. Just. This could lie to me. I didn't show me the right icon. I usually see when he's uh, waiting for me. Next so I. Emblem. Well, got to go to the bathroom before stream, so BRB! <laughs> I would like these enemies more if they went down in less shots. With them being dodgy, you'd expect them to take less hits. But oh well. Oh, hello. And that's a shortcut. Okay, good. Okay, both. Yeah, both of the. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, both of the save points. Are a bit too far apart. Yes. What have we here? Weathered logbook. Mm -hmm. This island is full of. Yeah. Uh, Anno Domini 1522, July 17th. The island is full of treasure. The savages let their children play with gemstones and decorate their pathetic huts with gold. What irony to see these senseless people be given so much and not know its true value, nor how to defend it. How did they manage to survive in this inhospitable hell's land? No matter. We made them tell us where the gold is coming from. There's a pagan temple in the depths of the jungle. The savages will show us the way if they want to live. The treasure will be ours and we will live as kings when we return home. 
And of course we find out on the skeleton that's been, well, <laughs> well and truly speared with an arrow. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to try and dodge these jackasses as best as possible. And of course they chase me the whole way. Okay, labor camp. Yeah. Okay. Can I get the Oh okay, that's a nice little effect that I hadn't noticed before. Is Reflections in the water streams. That's actually Ooh, pretty nice. Hello. Welcome back. Hey, what's going on? I was sitting there um, trying to listen. And is it? It's a bit helpful as if I seem to have some connection issue in that bathroom. So if occasionally it sounded like the, uh, my headphones were censoring you for swearing. Some hero for that. Okay. Yes, people, will wash my hands. Oh. <laughs> okay, found that completely on accident. Uh, what? What A does lever. the switch do? Here we go. Of course. <clears throat> yeah, there, Captain. Yeah, there. Okay, at least this won't be too much of a backtrack. And yeah, at least we've dealt with the boss as well now. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. But I expect that the uh, the <clears throat> I expect that the Sentinel will be how we get through those narrow passageways and such that we found all that we found all over the place. And I probably should have changed around. I probably should have grabbed one. Oop. I should have grabbed the uh, health drop uh, module. Hold on. Hmm? Do you think the Holy Sentinel is going to be a Metroid reference? Not. Maybe more that they can crawl around and crawl through the small spaces or something. Due to being more agile, but I would not be surprised if they can roll up into a ball. Yeah, for, uh, here's the thing I noticed with the three characters we have so far. They kind of align with the time. Hmm? Maybe see if it's by agents. Like we have here. Someone has proved a reference to Sean Connery's 007, just more Scottish. Chocolate is coming, I know, you Yes. They uh, uh, bumped that uh, to a bit more. And then we have Jeff Jefferson, who is definitely very... He's a generic American action hero. Yeah, who is supposed to be an agent and a spy, but they apparently never understand the term of um, stealth. Yeah. Bye bye, dude. And Ashura, by her dress, uh, dre clothing, I feel like it probably a reference to uh, 70 spies with, uh, you know, with those certain pants and shoulder pads. Yeah. I sadly don't know names for them, except undercover brother, but I feel like that was what made me a more parody of those. A bit Austin uh, power ish, but that would be leaning too far towards the comedy with it. Yeah, no, let's be honest. There, there's many comedy spy movies. Yeah. So I will not be surprised today. And this game is also a bit comedy, so we should probably include Dooms we as well. Okay, shortcut back to this place. It does make you wonder. Who 
the who is there gonna be a reference to them? We'll see. <clears throat> From narrow space we spoke of. All I think of them is uh, Sam Samus. But... Could be. I'm oh, sorry. I think it's less referencing and more like using uh, new... an archetype, this design inspiration and such. Yeah, it's like kind of what I feel like with the others. Just the whole set is the one that I am um, unsure which one they are aimed uh, towards. But I guess we will soon see when we find them. Yeah. But so far, I wonder what I can think of Sa Samus due to the rule crawl space. Yeah. Okay, one of four. Actually, crawl space is not really a common thing in games nowadays, is it? Hmm, depends on what sorts of game. Like yeah, immersive like, sim and stealth still very much use them a lot. Yeah, but they use more a, you know, regular crawl? Uh, crawl? Crawl! Not crawl, but... Blah. Like a... What the heck happened there? Yeah, it wasn't yeah, a good bombs. The, the Samus way to deal with the tubes is rather unique. Yeah. And people, and for example, Stormbound definitely has a Metroid uh, reference with an entire skill tree around that uh, ball thing. Hmm. How do I? How do we get up there? I, there's something here to read, but okay. Luckily, that stops the enemies nearby. <clears throat> so this is the path to that Temple of the Sacred Trial. Sounds a little hair-raising, if you ask me. It shines more of a symbol now, and <clears throat> more of a symbol now. Most of its ancient power left long ago. I thought you had nothing to fear, Blast Buffoon. That's true. I ain't afraid of nothing. However, I am highly aware of certain potential threats on this island. Living statues, man-eating bugs, and the flying fish. <laughs> they make me uneasy. I am highly aware of them as well. Good thing we've got each other, uh, each other's back out there, out, out here, Red. <laughs> yeah, even the seemingly fearless can have their fears. Oop. Break that. Hmm. Okay, there's something hidden here. Oop. That's probably that. And that look. That's not too deep. Okay. And there's something else as well. Okay. That's that sound? Okay. Oh, damn it. Half time to go back and heal up already. Yeah, and wait. Oh, oh, okay. Let's kill that damn thing and then look at the map. Yeah, there's probably something hidden up there. Yeah, th th there's, there's several, it looks like. Okay, we'll see on the way back, perhaps. If... Oh dear. Uh, wrong direction. Uh, wait, what? Yep. There we go. Yep. What the? Okay. I don't think that I don't think that was uh, functioning uh, properly. Yeah. Might be a prototype. Keep an eye out for those. Oh. Hello, there's something here. Okay, gotta watch out for the acid splash. Hmm. Hold on, can I? 
No, I cannot make that jump. I think one thing with the Sentinel will be that they can... That they can jump higher than the others. We all saw that coming. <laughs> there goes Jefferson's ass oh, again. Come on. There's no way my weight would have collapsed that bridge. I keep this body tight. <laughs> what? It's because I'm hauling around you two, the red scare and the red hair on my back. <laughs> Okay, that's not how quantum, quantum stuff works. Also, at this rate, Jefferson's ass is going to get a purple heart all on its own. Yeah. Though by then it probably will be purple as well. Oh, that's not how quantum... quantum no, I'm not no, explaining this again. I believe that bridge was the first test of this sacred trial. The Holy Sentinel passed, but we did not. This is a great shame we will live with for eternity. Trial. More like a trap, if you ask me. Y'all need to do more push-ups and start your mornings with some cardio. We may be down, but we are not out. If we want to catch up with the Holy Sentinel, then we must find a way back up. We can still do this, my friends. Oop, that's a one way <laughs> that needs to be broken up on the other sides. Okay. Yeah, I think the Holy Sentinel thing is going to be agility. Okay. Oops. Okay, did not expect that to bounce. It deliberately aim low there so it would bounce into me. I was uh, having a bit of a difficulty with my uh, blood words here. But being very resistant to the fork. Hmm. Not sure. I'm not sure how common this is, but one thing I noticed with that uh, cooking Haru channel is when they when they cooked uh, hot dogs and such, they would slice oh, atop the. They would slice along the the back and top of the sausage diagonally before cooking it. Not entirely sure what that's for, but I presume it's oh. uh, it's to uh, let the juices out and such. Uh, I know Hello. what it's for. It's kind of also to reduce the risk of the sausage just um, exploding. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Creed Legion internal notes, expedition. This is Legion Explorer number five. It has been three months since I got lost in these caves. Food's running out. I really wish I wasn't alone. They should have sent someone with me. I could have at least eaten them. <laughs> when I return, I must suggest larger groups next time. In any case, I can only ho I can only now hope that someone will find and save me. I will be glad to see a human face again. I'm sure I'll make fast friends with whoever it is. I think I hear someone coming. Uh, somebody coming. Hooray, I'm saved. Um, well, seeing as there is nobody here. Well, actually, uh, well, they're still here. <laughs> Just uh, hanging around. Creed's two hop trainers allows you to make a second jump while in midair. Actually, boots. Okay. A double jump. All right, oh, I just spotted them now. Yeah. <laughs> also, oh. with the hat, I think that might be an Indiana Jones reference. Uh, wait. Oh, was it? A, what, 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 I saw the hat first before I saw the body. I was wondering, why is there a mountaineer yodeling hat there? <laughs> Because the rest of the explorer is still there, uh, though a bit uh, they've <laughs> they've lost some weight since last time. Oh dear! Thank you. There. Yeah, double jumps are very common in platformers and metroidvanias. 
But I do like it when they introduce them later in the game, instead of them being one of the first upgrades you can get. Because yeah. oftentimes double jumps can be a... Uh, damn it. Can be a bit of a crutch to correct your jumps. Which for some people, of course, will be very nice, but others will prefer to have a bit more of a challenge to it. Yeah, but it also can be a bit of a issue at times. Like, uh, when you're doing easy level, and you, you expect to not have a double jump, you just end up accidentally double jumping a lot of times. Potentially hitting who? <gasps> Ceiling spikes. Yep. So, learn them early on will make you train to be careful with it, but... Yeah, it depends on the game and how... Uh... Pros and cons. Yeah, pros and cons. Hmm. Speaking of platformers... Uh, uh -oh. With the Steam sale, I've, brought, uh, I've bought one platformer that I've heard good about. Uh, a game called Frogun. It's, or Frog Gun. You, Wait, you that's the game it. you've been playing that was most of the time written in Japanese on Discord? Don't. I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's made by a Western you know, uh, group. So I have no idea yeah, what oh. might, you know, what Discord might be describing with Chinese letters or Japanese yep. letters. I mean, Japanese. For I saw Japanese takes several times. There, I saw uh, Frogon. The later one was uh, again in. Uh, I think it was Japanese let uh, letters. I was wondering what the heck has the captain bought now? Hmm. I, I haven't played it yet. I was playing a demo for the sequel. Uh, yeah, I'll have to double check what might be what's <laughs> what's confusing Discord then. Hmm. Yeah, but yes, I'm yeah. used to seeing you to sometimes play a new game or such. But seeing it written in a different language, with a different, or rather, in a different alphabet, that made me very confused. Hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to check around then, with, yeah, what Discord's displaying while I play certain games. Yep, entirely hidden area. I have noticed during the exploring that when you're in a hidden area like this, it reveals all hidden areas nearby because it removes the same layer. Though oh. not, most of them aren't close together enough to uh, really be to ha really have the others show. There. Okay. Also, this. This isn't getting explained now. That's because I found this earlier whilst uh, exploring the tangle. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> around here, the uh, treetop village. Basically, you shoot those and, well, stuff moves. Easy enough. All right. Oh. Who did not see the flower? Okay. There. Okay. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Did not mean to go all the way around. There. Okay. Yep. That's a breakable surface. Okay, <laughs> okay shortcuts. Ooh! You gotta look for the energy thingy now. I already got the energy. It's the weapon shop that we haven't been able to get yet. Ooh. But was it an energy upgrade as well in the in the item shop? Yeah, for 900, which we can afford yeah. now. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Okay. Ooh, hello. Is that a mythic version of those spider bombs? Okay.
Nice little feature in the background. Look, that's breakable from the other side. Yep. Wrong button. Too late. Getting cold again. Give me a sec. Okay, parents just heading out to the shop, so I don't, I won't need to go get this stuff, likely. Yeah. Uh, notice, uh, my mother usually asks me, but she usually asks me before I go to the groceries, which you know I usually go early in the morning for, you know, less lines. I just go to get it done and over it. Okay, and that was one of those explorers, but actually alive. All right. Before. Oops. Okay, that's just a wall. That, however, is not a wall. There. And there. Okay. Hello? Where we speak of the damn thing, we find we find one. There we go. Yep, one of these again. Yep. Okay, then it was about to use rollout on us. Open the shortcuts. But we haven't found a way in there. Yep. Hmm. Anywhere that's obvious? Is probably for the back. Oh, hello. Ah, now we're in here. So we can push this out. So this is wait. So this is the shortcut. Yeah, that well that, there's many shortcuts in this area, as is very clear. How do we this place doesn't have other entrances, so I'm guessing we need... Actually, I know how we get in there. Easy as that. Question is, what do we use this block for? I think I saw... I think I glanced my answer. There we go. There we go. Yeah, no, which one is the right way and which one is leads to upgrade? Yeah. We will really welcome in extra, for we need them. Yep. There we go. Well, that's one extra here. Okay. Yeah. There's several in, in to the west. Yeah, this place is going to be a bit of a maze, I presume. And I yeah, doubt no. we'll make it back to the hammock or another one before we die. So we may as well explore as best as we can. Let's explore the one under us. To the south or... Okay. That Hello? one? Oh, all right. Let's see here. August 24th. My men are dead, and I too am not long for this world. What a fool I've been. The temple, the gold, it was a trap. The savages are not defenseless after all. In fact, they were very well protected. Or Tax Colonu, the thing that lives in the temple, I dare not call it human, has cut through our forests with terrible sorcery. Our armor, our guns, even our cannons were no match for its ungodly ferocity. This, this will be my final entry. Was it greed or righteousness that led me to this doom? It does not matter. My bones will be forever trapped in the darkness of this cursed temple, but perhaps my soul may yet find its way to the light of heaven. If you are reading this journal, stranger, beware. A demon guards the silence. 
Okay, so they they are not like the mines. They are more like those uh, little laser cr wall crawlies. Yeah, actually, let's take a look at the map. Hi, yeah, I think this south thing we found there leads to the longer area there. They might be connected. What, what leads to what? If you're pointing, uh, I can't see that. Okay. We've been look, over look, that. Look north of Shura. There's a grey room. Yeah, we've you see been the, through there. Yeah, there seems to be an entry point on the floor that might lead to a room next to it. There's, there's very clearly an entry this way. If there, if there's nothing here. Passageways are very clearly shown. Yeah. Either oh, wait, through no, this or are... that. Wait, those with the, a V thing, those are items, aren't they? Yes. Those are collected items. Oh. Anyways. Okay, that's that's my bad. Okay. Let's see if we can get our gold back. Or our credits, as I called them earlier. Oh, and be a bit. I grab something. Yeah, I probably should use my. Or I should probably use the abilities more in combat. We do have and get the energy for them decently frequently. Especially now that Shuras also deals fire damage. Okay. Mm. The bug should only hold like 100 gold that we lost, so it's not too big of a loss. Let's oh, see, right. there's and a passageway that goes from here. Okay, that's one way for now, and welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Ah, sneaky. Okay. And now that we have a double jump, a lot of extra spaces may have opened up, and that's all to find in here. <clears throat> okay, don't have to go through all of that again. Probably will if I want to find that extra thing. Now, we can just get back over here, get our stuff back. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, trial of Might. Okay, open this up. Is that made? Is that a ruby saw blade? Ooh. Oops. Okay, careful on the walls here. Ow. There. Watch out for that uh, suspicious step. Yeah, very clearly a combat arena. Yeah, I expected something else to happen. I expected that to activate a shot when you step on it. Since, since I still have that module equipped that gives energy whenever we I take damage, I should make use of it. There. Okay. Well, at least this is cleared out. And maybe we'll find a hammock in the next room. Uh. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> that one was very aggressive. Hmm. Go. Oh. Okay, lucky that there is one, because I need one. And we don't even have to go through a gauntlet to get to it for once. Oh, that's wonderful, actually. Okay. Hmm. Let's just remove that one. And get this one. Because we don't really need the faster healing when we're out and about. That's more for bosses. And this place is so going to... Oh, hello. This place is going to get activated sooner or later. Yeah. Hmm. Good to double check. And then I land in between the stupid things. <laughs> okay, safe grounds. Hmm. It's always nice when enemies can attack you from off screen. Very much not. Okay. I honestly expected that those things would explode if they came near. And technically they do, but not in the way I was thinking. Wait. You, those small things cannot be uh, cremated. Yeah, they're more Atlantean stuff. Oh, now the place is active. But uh, let's also open those. Yep. And there's a statue on the side there as well. Hmm. Let's, can't, oh, we can go up there. Thank you. Another one of these rune stones. And the shortcuts. Go. Okay, there's a switch down there. Uh, there. Come out. I will have to. I will have to go check if the double barrel deals actually deals more damage or not. It didn't seem to when I last tried it. Ooh. Yeah, for using a double barrel in games, do you do, ma do more damage? It's also that that's actually a thing in real life, though. Hmm. Yeah, they can do more damage in one way, as in. Uh, well, if you saw off a double barrel shotgun, it's going to have a lot more of a uh, blast radius, so to say, up close. Which is yeah, why it's illegal to saw them off. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> well, no doubt about it. That's a big old river of acids. Galad, maybe we can ride on your shoulders or... Hey, I may have metal bits, but I have other human bits as well. The Holy Sentinel had no metal man to ferry them across, and yet they have obviously passed over this acid river. Perhaps it was never here when they crossed. There must be a mechanism to drain this river. Ooh, baby. And all we gotta do is find it. Duh. And if that does not work, we will ride on the shoulders of the metal man. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> oh, hello. Mechanism found. Oh. Galahad can stay out of his swim trunks for now. I hope it's expected for us to go backtrack and all that, but that was just over there. Okay, looks like, yeah, we'll have to go uh. back and forth. Activating mechanisms so we can get lower and lower. Yep. Okay. 
there. Uh. Okay, and we do need to go somewhere else for now. Okay, this is going to be a multi-room puzzle, from the looks of it. Uh, hello. The heck is that? Uh... Okay, um... I'm guessing these are the storage... I'm guessing this is storing the oh, yeah. acid or something. Look, it whispered. Yeah, there's three tanks. One of them is empty from the looks of it. Yeah, another one is missing the top. Yeah, you onto something. Okay, now they're equally filled, but that's probably not it. Oop. Now it's fully filled. Oh, oh, I see what we need to do already. Okay. We need to fill them all to the correct level. And we do that by... Hmm. Ah, now I see what you mean, correct level. It, it is glowing. Let's Fills this one completely. I know that there, I know that this is a somewhat common puzzle, or at least used to be a decently common one, where you have uh, different jars or jugs that you need to fill. a certain amount, but you can only use the uh, the jugs that they're in there. Okay. Um, yeah, I can see why this it uh, almost died out. There we go. That's one correct. And we pull this one. And there we go. Okay, there, we also could have drawn between the two big ones at the top there, but... I only noticed, I only saw the lever. I did not see this one up there. Yeah, I, I was to mention that uh, when you were talking, so I didn't want to interrupt. Okay, that seems to have cleared the entire area out. Do I break the shortcut? Or maybe you, you cannot can't get break down it for there. that side? Oh, so that's quite the upper body strength. You know, it's not just upper body strength, but also lower body strength to be pulling something like, pushing something like that. Yeah. That looks heavy. I'm going to, I am going to presume that it's very smooth at the bottom. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't need too much, uh, there's not much friction, but still, there'll still just be a ton of weight. Yeah. How many of those do we have now? One more for the weapon shop upgrades. You know what? Ow. What the? Now that's um, a big beetle. I, I have heard of rhino beetles before, but... That's a bit much. Yeah, and I've seen cartoony jokes of Rhino Peters before. But this one actually looks like it can actually be dangerous and not the uh, goofy. Okay, we need to drop that through to get down there. to get out of here. Maybe you're supposed to break down that wall we walked past earlier. It's not a breakable wall. Okay. 
the feeling we won't survive a fight with that beetle, but I will. I can... No, I don't have the energy to cheese it. I can still try to burn it, at least. It... I like that even with the module to get health drops from enemies, they are still rare. So you can't use it as a crutch. Yep, I should have expected that. Yep, yep, yep. I did not expect that, though. What the heck? Yep. Of course, only its ass is vulnerable. There we go. Okay, open that up. Do a bit of interior redecorating. Okay, and hopefully we can have easy access to that hammock as well, though I don't think the game is going to be that uh, generous after the last one. Derelict chambers. Oh, it is that generous. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Hmm? Yeah, maybe the other ones were a bit more punching due to those things like the damn fly traps. Trial of Perseverance. Like, so far, just, uh, like, we have seen challenges, but I haven't seen anything that would be classified as a Oop. annoying gimmick. Okay, these... <laughs> These sink. Oh dear. Yep. Okay, okay, I was trying to hang my... underneath them. That's why it's an annoying gimmick. I get why there's no invincibility frames on the dash for obstacles like that, but for enemy attacks, it still would have been highly appreciated to have just a moment of invulnerability to dodge enemy attacks. So. All right, so those walls can only be broken from a certain angle. Yeah, we've, we've been breaking them from only one way the entire time now. Yeah. Hmm. And when I say we haven't met uh, too many annoying gimmicks in this level yet, it's the moment we find the room full of them. Yeah, it's not so much gimmick as more it's just Annoying placements. Yeah. There. Oh dear. There. Oof. Close. Shortcuts. Okay. And what do we find here? And more assets. Okay, I, I thought that was... I thought that was going to... 
pass us in the background or something, since it looked like a tube, but nope. It's yeah. a tube, just a broken tube. Yeah. Okay, that I was just pointing back to the to the one we've already been at there. Uh, let's. Okay, not going down. It's a one-way path. Got it. It's not one way, but I always keep calling that. There, there was a wall that we can break from the other side there. Okay, I'm guessing we did that with for the lever so we could lower the, the acid even further. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, we still have room for quite a few, yeah, quite a lot of items down there, actually. Yeah. Uh, wait, I just realized something about Jeff. Hmm? He's missing an upgrade. Yep. Or skill. Hmm. Okay, clearly... We need to do something more around here. Already swap those out. Hmm. Okay, we need to get, we need to go to the lower entrance here. Yeah, I feel like we're missing something here. Like, sure, we saw acid down there, but. Hmm. It's another entry there. There must be something more here to lower the acid. Well, there's mobs. Can't be a very good hint. You. There we go. Galahad. And this is totally a, a an arena. A stupid asset. Go. Yep. Okay, now I can take a bit of a moment before dealing with the stupid one on the wall. Next, yeah, another one of these Indiana wannabes. Luckily, those projectiles go straight through passable platforms like these. I'll take that. So take that. And there we go. Okay, that one was easier, or maybe I'm just actually getting decent at this game. Maybe both. Okay. Lower the acid further yet. Okay, was I was actually expecting it to stop halfway through there. Hey, there's only way down there. Yep. 
just a chest. Okay. No passable walls. Yeah, I hope that there'll be something more than just money. Uh, hmm. Money would be useful. Nice to have, but far from necessary. Also, uh, friend of yours? Nope. Let's see how far is lowered here. Enough for us to get to this entrance. Oop. Oh, hello. Next flower is here. There nice. we go. And now when we get back to base, we can have three charges of the flask. And we can get another battery because we have a... Uh, up front. Or, oh no, I already turned it into a, a battery. If there is a, there is another crystal nearby. If we can get to it, we can get another Oop, battery. There we go. Okay, those things aren't actually as dangerous as I thought they were. They're more nuisance than anything else. For a second I thought I could get him to roll into the acid. I'll take that. Actually, you couldn't. Hmm. Elevator doesn't work yet. something hidden there and I think I see where the entrance is there we go and the shortcut opened now there. Oh yeah that's the shortcut I figured so earlier there bit of a rush job but oh well Dumb. Yeah, it was extra dumb. Okay. One heart remaining. And no healing. <laughs> uh, of course. Bad movement for this. Good thing that Shura's laser is a oh, freaking powerful. Uh, oh dear. That's going to oh, no. zigzag. I'd like that it actually does a different pattern other than just <laughs> charging straight ahead constantly. Oh, uh, hello, pizza. Hello, pizza. Doing good over here. A bloody he I was wondering if he'll actually do this without dying. Then he came around a bit and I lost almost all hope. <laughs> well, I almost did make it. Yeah, I actually would be damn impressed if you survived the rhino beetle. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing, pizza? Doing pretty good myself. There. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, much better prepared this time. Just deal with them from a safe distance. Just not deal with that one at all. Okay. Uh, 
there. Okay, this is a trick I might, yeah, I might, maybe should try some up more, some, yeah, more often, just ball jumping and then shooting. There we go. I'll take that. Uh, let's see. I'm doing surprisingly have because of Elden Ring. Oh, hello. You Thank forget this ring? Yeah, I'm just getting grabbing this quickly for the heal. Probably a good uh, idea. Not because like I love that game, because whenever I play it, so many people come into my uh, chat to purely help me. But in doing so, we also tend to chat a lot. That's been affecting my mental health positively. Uh, that's good to hear, Pizza. That's very good to hear. <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay, I, I looked away when I was reading out pizza stuff there, but I'm guessing, you know, so I didn't see what happened during that, during that quick cutscene, but I'm presuming this whole area lowered down or something to bring the, yes. well, the hammock here for once. Yeah, it's the same hammock you used earlier, you just lowered it down. Yeah, okay. Still something hidden around. Oh, is... That's the one that's that needs to be broken from the other side, so there's something in the ceiling here. Oh, wait, that's probably only accessible with the Sentinel. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, weird. I see Mark's message in your chat overlay, but I don't see his message on my end. Odd. Hmm. And, okay, work. Yep, yep. Very close. Wait, that can't be our holy Sentinel. She's like 90 pounds. Explains how she got across that bridge. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, I will admit that was a badass move that I'd only expect from an ancient holy protector of some sort. Might be our girl. <laughs> you think? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Two are so heavy, you're breaking the floor now! <laughs> Jefferson, Jefferson, follow the girl! Follow the girl. Jump, down. Jump down! Yeah, for once he doesn't land on his ass. Wait for it. Here again. Uh, yep. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, hello, mutant snot dog. <laughs> You're a good boy, ain't ya? Great. <laughs> very, very good, calm snot dog. It has its eyes in its mouth. Yeah. Um... Ah, shit. Well, then let's do this. <laughs> okay, the audio wasn't ble the audio wasn't bleep there, uh, and of course it's called the bomb and Owl Nation. We should try getting the Hulk's help. He de he deals with abomination plenty of times. Or he has dealt with abomination plenty of times. Yeah. If. if Yep, now it's doing a Sonic. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Okay, very and... nice animation on that. It was technically repeated, but still it... Impressive regardless. Yep. Oh, well, hello. Uh... Can you not send that thing in our direction? Thank you very pleased. And I think I did not get the the hearts there. It keeps falling into the ducts. Quickly. Okay. 
Yeah, they'll be need a bit longer range with this gun. I'm pretty sure this this is a longer range outside of the sniper rifle that we're going to get. All right. Yeah, they feel like you oh, you most of the time out of reach with it. Mostly because I'm trying to be careful. Especially with attacks with a tight knit, damn it, pattern like that. Missed me. Jumped straight into that one. Okay. Well, take two. You know, most first. of it's a uh, Let's see. Uh, Marco, I. Uh, <laughs> uh, pizza is 90 pounds heavy or light? I don't know, pounds. Uh, with pound, pounds are, I believe, accurately like 0 0.451 uh, kilograms. Might be off with that. But in general, this if, if you want to convert something from pounds to kilogram, roughly, just do it by half. So, yeah, very light. Uh, Marco, I love her, my favorite character. That was intentional for it to say bleep, but not play the sound effect. Uh, you might as well hit them with a wet napkin with how much damage Jeff was doing. Also, let me... <sighs> Double save? Yes. Uh, ah! Mm -hmm. Keeping this one. I think we might have enough opportunity to go with this one. So yeah, that... remove the battery here. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'll turn on the bayonet one, but then realize the, the one with the bayonet is likely a bad idea, for we do want to be too close to this thing. Yeah, and it's only active when we are close. It... That yeah. was a waste, but I will. Going to be too risky uh, tactic. Okay, it looks like her trick is going to be teleportation. This is from Marco. You got the best pattern for that boss. That is the boss with the most randomized attack pattern. Okay, it makes sort of sense since it's well, a mutated beast. It's not going to straight into this one, huh? That attack actually reminds me of a boss from uh, Metroid. Okay, it seems it does have eyes under the slime. So that eyes on its face and its tongue. Damn it. Okay, this one is going to be troublesome, especially if it just keeps spitting from this edge of the screen, from off screen. Okay, yeah, I feel like the healing thing we took may not be a good idea. But then we do not have enough time to heal. We should probably switch out the shotgun as well. Forgot about the trial for a bit. Okay. This, yeah, this one's lost. Okay. Hmm. Straight back in. Let's see. Probably still best to keep 
Siberian winter and this one. Hmm. It would be nice if we also dog? got... Uh, it would also be nice if we got uh, damage stats on these. Yeah, let's hear from Marco. The shotgun is not good for this boss. You're welcome to try, but it will... But you will fail. Yeah, so we're taking... <laughs> Sure is getting her sniper rifle back. Yeah, for me, like we, we need hmm. ranged against that thing for... It's, it's almost as if we allow you to eat, have more effective use to shotgun for you or... They basically must force themselves to be... F or basically very much... You have it up close. Yeah, they're, they're very much up close in the right way, but this one... <laughs> yeah, you see yourself. If this one is a little bit too quick for shotgun. I'm sure you'll be able to fire it off, but it will also hit you before you'll be able to evade it. Yeah. And like, I guess you want to use a shotgun with a predictable, uh, yeah, an enemy that's predictable. Yeah. This was not. And yeah, it, it has heart. It has eyes under the slime. Didn't need that heart because we've not been hit yet. <laughs> I'll take that. Just put a round in its ass as it's crawling out. In. Oh, damn it. Okay, it also deals double damage, so that's going to be a problem as well. That was luck that I just went through the spines. Luckily, not all of its attacks deal double damage. But contact damage does, or at least that roll does. It's, at least it's not getting new moves and such. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, I think we need one more try. Mm, yes. Hmm. Yeah, I, I really would have liked this thing more if it was easier to take aim with it. That's actually... Probably won't be using it much on this boss. But it may help with other enemies around here. So it'll probably help if I don't waste one of the battery charges on that thing. Yeah. That one was on me. Okay. 
then she just body slams the thing in. I should probably space out the use of the laser until it stops flashing with fire damage. And that was just luck. That was just dumb. Oh dear. So was that. Fuck waiting, burn this thing alive. When it stops, we need to we need to keep going, get out of its range. So I just, there's no way I can reliably dodge those spines. Hopefully this will be the, t the attempt that works. This one's pretty easy to dodge once you figure it out. Yep. Bad time for our nose to hit. Got it down about a quarter, a third. This thing definitely is a third. <laughs> Holy! This thing is very destructive. Like, I guess you could say very chaotic. Yeah. Ooh, that was an accidental dodge. Ooh, that was just barely out at the end of that its range. Ooh. Ah. Rice remedy. There was no bite near the hammock. Yes, so no fast travel for upgrades. Yep. Maybe we could get the shotgun in when it's crashed like that. Halfway. 
a contact hazard even though oh that okay that's a new move okay those stay for quite a bit before. yeah yeah this one was from the plants uh, bouncing attack yep it's going to give me way less opportunity to shoot the thing Did it launch the quiz from scratching his ear? Yeah, more like scratching his back, more. Uh... Damn it. We are getting close, but the help was an issue. Okay. I just need to avoid getting hit by it just charging us. <clears throat> and when it's getting. <laughs> when the Sentinel is riding it in. Go. Hmm. Yep. We allow you to do this. I'm gonna get myself a drink. Oh, uh, if, if I forget, uh, Rom and Liz said they may be free for. Uh, Movie night tonight? Okay. You just have to see you know, what to watch. Yeah. Snap. Okay. Yeah, we, we, for people not in the know, we've been trying to hold a movie night uh, weekly on Saturdays. Okay, there. Made with the laser. Correction, you try to keep it weekly on Fridays. This usually uh, was a gamble to begin with. Yeah. Okay, now that was a, quite a bit of damage I took there. Forgetting about the trial and trail it leaves. I should probably try to get behind it because then it can't uh, jump at me. And it can only spit at me. Other side. a lot of healing already if I'm on the middle here when he's coming around then there's a chance he'll jump up but if I'm on the side platforms he just keeps running along the ceiling and such it does mean that he was more likely to do that though Falling for that again. Yeah, I can see that if people see this one as a very hard boss due to it actually being very chaotic. I, yeah, again, as a box said, the patterns are randomized. Or more it randomized than with the others. Yeah, they don't, don't seem to really try to adapt to the situation. 
Go for it again. See, I was on the middle and it did the cross jump there. Yeah, so th that may actually be a sort of pattern. Yeah, more like re it, it re it'll react in certain ways. Yeah. So you basically have to remember how it reacts and all that. There's some of the things it does will still be random of when it happens. Stuck between a well, one snot ball and another there. Nope. Nope. If I'm on the platform in front of him, there's a chance he'll jump for me. If I'm behind him, he can't do that, of course. Not I feel... Mm. Probably want us to go back and get the upgrades, but they're just so far back. Yeah, that's not happening. Like, how do they have a bike for fast travel? Easy, no problem. It would have been an odd find in an ancient temple, but still. It... Okay, I should focus a lot more on defense. See? I was here in front of him, so we could do that. I basically have to chase this thing. It's on the other side. For that one blindly. Do we need to keep moving because he'll just spit that at us? There. Eh. You about to sneeze? Yeah. It, it immediately squeezes out of the same hole. Okay, that should not be possible by programming. Because that's just a cheap hit. Need of that. Yeah, he seems to do the spitting mostly when he's passing through the middle of the of the room. Oop. Just after it passes the middle that it spits, usually. I should stop falling for just running into its prowl.
Take spades. Oh, there. Yeah. Like... Oh, yeah. Had this been done off stream and just me playing it, I would probably travel all the way back for the the upgrades, but they are on stream, so yeah. We rather not waste everyone's time. Damn. Oh come it on. It would be nice if it didn't have you know, touch damage during that. Let's see. Keeping with that one. Is there Let's something we are trying. overlooking? No, it's, it's just a pain in the ass to fight. Well, oh, you said that, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's how we get out of here. The little teleport boomerang. This is more like a teleporting uh, chakram. So I think it has been done in at least one other game before, but I've forgotten. I forget what game. Burning Damn gas parts are not making it easy either. Yeah, it doesn't actually deal that much damage for a sniper rifle. It still deals more damage than, like, say, if the normal weapons, but still. Not I, I, think the I, I, I think the normal shotgun still deals the most damage you know, per clip and such. Maybe I should try to lure out that rolling attack more. Because it's it does leave them stunned for a bit. Doing it sideways now. Oh, it's real. You have all, almost all healing now. But it's almost dead. Mm. 
That was luck. That was pure luck. Cross dive. The uh, platform is unsafe. Oop. Ow. Oop, a bit of energy. Yep. Okay, at least we should have enough laser now to kill it. Hopefully, if I not miss. Of course, that was... Oh, so close. Mm. Closest yet. Mm. Yeah, I really need to try and save the heals for the last phase. There. Try to hit with the laser as much as possible. Maybe you want to use the inchy sparingly. Or maybe no, we won't miss. And when we know we're going to get some health. Like, it should not be able to do that, especially since it lures you close. Because you know, of the energy it drops. This time... Okay, we're both at about half health. But no healing! Uh, impossible though. It should have been programmed in that if uh, it can't come out of the same pipe, it vanishes in after it gets slammed down like that. That was me not paying attention. Just trying to fill up, so give me a moment on this. Yeah, go ahead, Captain. I think uh, the thing has infected you with the uh, snot.
Ah, great. It's refusing to come out. Uh. Uh, there's a trick for that. We'll have to do that uh, later. All right. Probably for the best for an alternative. Maybe a bit more explosive. Mm. No, I'm not shoving gunpowder up my nose. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, you see, you just put a finger to block the other nostril while you blow the nose. That's what I do at standard. Okay. I usually do that when I notice that it's a bit stubborn. And so I say it could be a bit explosive, but it could. Yeah, I end up going more than just the paper. Need to avoid contact damage with this thing as much as possible since it does double damage. I say and immediately get hit again. That would be one way to try and get it into those rolls. I believe it's stunned. I think I'm going to save most of the laser for the last phase. Yeah, like. So it keeps two spots open for when it gets stunned. Yeah, I was wondering if we should uh, try to. Like, we should use it, yes, but we should never empty it. And not fill it either. Because then yeah, yeah. the drops get are, yeah, are wasted. Indeed, so try to keep it there uh, within. Uh, Two free bars. It's, can I lure it? Can I lure it into doing that and stunning itself? Yep. That would be a good spot to put the shotgun up its ass. Yeah.
Would be nice if they di it didn't have contact damage during this whole part. What? Yep. Uh -oh. If it pops out, at, if it pops out of out of that pipe, I take two damage and on gain only one heart. Yeah. That's a no. Yeah, I just realized that. Or rather, uh, well, I thought of uh, oh, it goes into the pipe. No way to reach it. But it's worse than that. Ah. Uh. I'm a bit annoying that. Yeah, it definitely should have had programming to not allow it to pop out of the same pipe it goes into after that. See if we can get it to roll. Nope. Yeah, it's practically impossible to dodge that if we're not out of range. Yeah, if it rolls from the middle, it comes out of it fast enough to not get stunned. I do need to be standing on the inner edge of the platform, otherwise they're going to hit me. Or otherwise there's no way for me to dodge. See? These patterns are more random, but the results can still be predictable. Almost time for another diving bit. Yep, there we go. We'll get two energy from this. Yep. That could have been it if it wasn't for accidental contact damage there. Yeah. Hmm. Like, overall, I still really like this game, but there's some very obvious things that they should have programmed in that just really hurt some of these boss fights. Like, for one, invincibility frames up to enemy attacks on the, on the dodge. And I should have swapped to the shotgun. Yeah, we can do that if we fail this one. If we fail. Okay, I was expecting him to dive. does the spikes on the ceiling it's going to spit afterwards not try to die for me 
And it, that's the third time it's repeated that. I thought it was going to die this time. Okay. See, it just pops out of the same hole again. If it, if I'd been any closer, that would have been two arts of damage. Yeah, at least you got the heart without taking damage there, but... Yeah, gravity that heart to pops out sometimes is a damn risk. Trick it into rolling here. Nope. There we go. And it's, it didn't do the spit this time. Mm. Screw it. I need to try and hold on to both heels until the last stage. Wait, 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 shut down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This one. Again, it still just seems to be the best out of all of them. Yeah, at least when it's stunned. Uh, it, in general, I think it deals the most damage per full clip of it. Like, if you if you empty out, if you completely empty out all the ammo you get for each of the weapons, I think this this basic shotgun still gives you the most damage out of all of them. We not be surprised. Yeah, there really is no good way of dodging that outside of getting out of range or behind it. Since you're basically meant to dodge to the middle there, I really, I really think you should just, uh, it should just not have uh, contact damage during that whole thing. Since after you dodge him out of the water, he's going to drop right on top of you. That is a good moment to just pile on some damage. All I need to be is in front of it and below. Without it getting enough time to get out of the roll. I 
If I stand around here... Oh, darn it, he went into it later than... Uh, He's coming from the other side. One heal. With the trial that leaves, there is basically no... There's very little opportunity to get close enough to get him with the shotgun. Knew he was going to try that. Okay, come on. Dealt more damage with that. Yeah, I don't like when he's on the roof. Of her. That's the time I feel like it's the most risk of wasting the laser at. Okay, I thought he was going to keep going there. If he kept running, I probably would have gone over. Yeah, blood, I probably you, run again, into the fog you, cloud. You were close. Okay. Get you to roll. Nope. Come on. Nope. Not that this bad, and yeah, it's not that this boss is badly coded or such. It's just that they're a fucking pain in the ass. I want, I want to lure it uh, down early so I can stand on the platform to actually be able to safely shoot it. Okay. I do risk taking two damage each time. Like that.
slowly but surely. Okay, almost took damage. Took damage there. So can I get you to roll? Nope. Almost. Three. Uh, and she wasted there. Almost missed the snot ball. There we go. There we go, finally! <sighs> oh, that thing was primed to eat me two seconds ago. Now it's primed for belly rubs. You're a real mutant dog whisperer, kid. Without your help, I could not have made my move and freed this poor beast from its pain. Your name, bold warrior. Jeff Jefferson, blast agent, and your new best pal. You're the Holy Sentinel, yeah? That would be my grandfather, but yes, I, I am the Holy Sentinel now. I am Bartox Aklahun Pakarnusta. Uh, mind if we just call you Pak? Run that by me again? My name, Vartox Aklahun Pakarnusta. <laughs> right. Uh, I've been described as a slow learner. Say it one more time. Not surprised. Vartox, uh... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna call you Vortex. It's a powerful code name, like a mighty maelstrom or a, a brand of washing machine. Really? Vortex. I quite like that, noble Jeff. I think you and I together, along with the other warriors you've gathered, we can end Creed's reign over my island home once and for all. But first, I must rescue my people from... From Creed's prison? <laughs> we sprung them on the way here. They're headed back to your village as we speak. Noble Jeff, you're a thing of legend! I must ensure their safe passage. Meet me at the village. Okay, so we now know what... Quote unquote, mutant. character type she belongs to. Just again, not the type I expected, considering the other ones are uh, very much you would expect from uh, typical ancient, ancient and spy uh, characters. Yeah. Maybe assassin? Could have been more technically a, fitting. In a way, she has. So you could consider an assassin weapon, typically. But she seems more like uh, the. A chosen guardian type. Or chosen hero, if you, if you get what I mean. Yeah. yeah. You're not hiding from me, Glavi, or whatever the hell you are. As it proved, they are not. Hello. Uh, I think Flavi got to them. Okay. Uh Maybe you don't stand too close to them when they die, but I think you used to damage. I think. Not, I have not, no hearts are missing. Oh, all but, right. yeah, that definitely looked like a, that I could have done damage. That definitely would. <laughs> okay, 
Do you know? I can't tell if those are seeking or bouncing. Uh, they are seeking. They're... they are seeking. Okay, but they are bound by bound by gravity as well. Thank you. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> Another helmet. Okay, the first time I see homing, if you could call it that, homing slime ball projectiles. Yeah. Which makes me concerned that they might be like the slime you used to destroy in the other room earlier. Okay, I was pretty sure that these crates were going to sink. Stronger than I thought they were. Okay. Activate the temporary oh, platforms hello. with that one. Up there. I see energy. Okay, that's for the way back. And I see a combat. Freaking bats. Okay, those um, slime troopers. troopers. Did we almost just call them those slime troopers? Yeah, I was going for sludge trooper. We can both go for trooper. Uh, yeah, they, they, they are a bit unique, I would say. They take about one and a half lasers. Yeah, okay. I feel like one on one they might not be too bad, but they are definitely the mob that is dangerous when combined with other mobs. Yeah. Damn. 2001 credits. Yes, that's what I'm going to keep calling it, because it's, I find it funny. Honestly, Creed probably. I'm, I'll not be surprised in the absolute slightest if we find a note somewhere that Creed wanted to call uh, money when he take over the world. Creed it. I would not be surprised either. And um, oh, I've been Hello. leading the upgrade. Hello. That's very nice. welcome. <laughs> As is this. Oh, you meant to buy. You meant the mushrooms. <laughs> uh, let yes, me take I a look. Okay, looks like there's a room for three more regions here, but there's also three more areas, or actually four more areas here. Find a look. Actually, I think it might be four more can me fit in there. One, two, three, four. I think. I doubt that that is going. Hmm. It might be an area, but I see space for like three four more here so i'm thinking one two three four maybe these two are one together either oh, way so yeah there's an up we almost missed down there yeah battery yeah we want the battery yeah. but we like we definitely want to try to gra grab the upgrades whenever we can if we yeah. can And there's probably a lot more we can now access. Oh, wait, before we can now access them until we have unlocked the new character. I think the. Uh... I think that lever up there will open this. I hope you're right. Hmm. Okay. Well, hmm. Okay, the keep way. Yeah, I feel there might be another lever. And if there is, I'm not seeing where it could be at the moment. Well, the, do you see the cables with the green stuff on it? 
Yeah. They seem to lead to somewhere. There's Maybe another game mechanism. Yes. Okay, it's behind in the... It needs to be open from the other side. Mm, yes. Refill. And, yeah, let's just head straight back to the village. Yes. Yeah, I would not be surprised if it's going to be easier with the new character. <sighs> Anything new? You must have a lot of cool stories about your spy missions, Galahad. I, yeah, I do indeed. They're all top secret, of course. Bummer. Do you usually go in guns blazing, wreak havoc, and take out villains in heroic battles? Uh, nay. Usually I just drink a lot of martini, flirt with bonnie lasses, and play poker. <laughs> but how do I have to cr well, how do come I have to crawl through sewers and escape explosions? That's a good question. The amount of explosions he experiences is indeed extremely abnormal, my friend. Maybe you should talk to uh, your bosses, ask them to send you on more peaceful mission or two. Oh, I've had those. One time I had to pretend to be a tech a tycoon and infiltrate a high society party on a luxurious la yacht. Did you sink the yacht? That's great. How far did you... Uh, uh, how far did it go? <laughs> yeah, I should have exploded. Expect that. <laughs> oh. Um... <clears throat> go ahead. If you wanted to say anything. Oh, I, I, I just—I'm not surprised. <laughs> I was so unsurprised that I almost said, "Oh, I exploded that," instead of "I expected that." <sighs> Moving uh. on. So, are there many uh, African Soviet people in Siberia? Not in my town. Must have been tough growing up. Why? You know, being different. It's tough, right? Especially for a kid. Winter in Norilsk Nor 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 lasts for nine months with a couple of months of complete darkness and average temperatures below 60. Now that's tough. Being different? <laughs> Yet, I am the tough one. Yet you are. Anything new from uh, Ugo the Liar? Hey, big dummy. Did you, uh, I see you found a new spirit friend. Is he a giant? Galahad? He's just tall. In fact, he's not much taller than me. I'm tall too. Oh, his name is Galahad. What a mighty name. Yeah, mighty. Figure, since he's taller, you have <laughs> to call him Big Dummy instead of me. <laughs> You're so funny, Big Dummy. How can I possibly call Mighty Lord Galahad a dummy, Big Dummy? <laughs> I hate this island. Oh. <laughs> this place is now open. Uh, let's upgrade this one. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, now it now it restores three health on its own, even without the upgrades. Does that mean Okay, there are three more flowers to be found. Okay, I found it a bit odd that there would be only three in the entire game. So, three of these for a third use. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I was hoping we'd get a third use. But, yeah, any healing is welcome. Let's see. One more for the, the gun shop upgrade. And ooh, hmm. let's actually go. Uh, which one is that specifically here? Great tangle lower or something. Also, it looks like we can return some of the helmets now to the other guy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, depth. Yep. Well, he does give us reward for each helmet, doesn't he? True. I'm guess I'm hoping he'll give. I'm, go I'm hoping he'll give a fabrication kit, but we'll see what he gives. I hope for anything that's not money. A anything that helps us get stronger. Yeah. There. Mm. Like, money is a nice upgrade in these kids, but you want something that helps now. I brought another helmet. 
Oh, henchman number 464. How nice of you to join us. Uh, 463 and I were just discussing your battle performance. 463 doesn't want to point fingers, but he was, in fact, shot in the back. And we all know how your firing range scores. Uh, all know your firing range scores. What, cat got your tongue? Or was it an exotic slug? <laughs> exotic? It's not that toxic slug like that. About that reward. <laughs> Great work, American theme fabrication of mine own mind. Now go find the remaining helmets. Yeah, I think I have one more helmet. Okay, a vault key. Still haven't found any of those things. And no, we had just one. Oh, damn it. It is marked, I believe. No, it was marked before where one was, I think. But we'll just have to go find the other ones. Still curious if anything's going to happen with that robot. If we get all yeah. of them. And this bulk. I was tempted for us to look them up. I'm guessing they'll be in the fortress. Hmm. It would make sense for, for them to be there unless there are extra vaults outside. Hmm. Okay, let's head back to the village, get any upgrades that we can get. Okay. And yeah, go talk to Vortex. There. Wait, we can expand this further still? Okay. Energy cell. There we go. Not enough for a full one, but still nice. Every little bit will help. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. This will this will probably be uh, useful in boss fights, uh, assuming there isn't a cooldown on it, because then we can just quickly swap between weapons to just have a yeah damage a damage boost at near all times. Are you sure that that one might have been useful at the last boss fight? There. As long as we're exploring, I'm going to try and keep this one on. Especially now that it'll heal four hearts, which is, let's see, three, four, half our health. The one hmm. called Jeff! You have survived! Of this, I am sight. The one called O'Hara has told me much of the righteous kickers of ass called Blast. Our tribe is very fortunate to be aided by such noble warriors. Okay. Noble hunts? Good work, O'Hara. Sums me up pretty well. <laughs> of course, there's also dreamy, inspiring. List goes on. Humble. Just be glad this gal ran into me before Day Armis. But let's get back on point here. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Vortex, as the Holy Sentinel, what are your thoughts on dealing with Creed? Creed draws his power from. Actually, I'd like to start at the beginning. Cutscene? To understand our history, you will understand what's truly at stake, noble warriors. Now, how did my grandfather usually start this story? Cutscene. The tale of the Vartox Aklahun is not the story of a single person, or even of a few, but of an entire people. My people. It begins with the arrival of the Sky Shard, a cosmic gift from the gods. And what a gift it was. My ancestors found the shard deep in the ground. Equal parts, beauty, and power. Baba always said, <laughs> I can relate. The shard's power reshaped my people's destiny. It lifted them into a gilded age atop crystal waters, Atlantis. But the Sky Shard was exploited, fought over by the Atlanteans, fueled by greed. My people pushed its power to the brink. Such power needed a protector, someone to ensure the shard was never exploited again. The Holy Sentinel, Vartox Aklahun. Baba was the last of the great sentinels. Until his last moon, he prepared me for the trials of Vartox Aklahun so I could carry on. I had not yet finished my training, but the Sky Shard needed its Holy Sentinel. My failure proved I had much to learn. Oh, Baba. 
The one called Creed must be separated from the Shard's power, lest he make the same mistakes of the past and drowns the world anew. So, we just gotta blow up that Sky Shard thingy? Jeff. Oh, uh, for the Sky Shard all. is indestructible. However, we can cut the connection between its life force and the villain Citadel. Which will render the Citadel defenses useless and allow us to attack it. But before we do that, we need to disable the giant battle robot in the volcano. Otherwise, any attack will be suppressed by its overbearing firepower. Of course, it's in the fucking volcano. Okay, people, as I see it, this is the plan. Blow up the volcano, blow up <laughs> base, blow up the shard. Step one, destroy the giant robot. Step two, power down the Citadel's defenses. Step three, kick Creed's ass. Step four, take away Creed's donut and eat it. The full love of... Noble Jeff, please allow me to accompany you on this perilous quest. The drowned cities surrounding the Sky Shard are fraught with ancient danger. You will need my abilities and knowledge of my ancestors' technology to triumph. Also, I'm really good at kicking ass. Okay, I I, I like that they're go. I like that they're not doing the whole uh, primitive, not knowing stuff uh, as strong as often is done. Like, there is a lot of things that she doesn't understand, but she is very clearly smart in a lot of areas and yeah, quick to she, learn. Yeah, she. He, yeah, she gets the gist of it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, usually I'd say no, kid, but I can confirm you're quite good at kicking ass. Welcome aboard. Bart, uh, what? <laughs> Meet the Holy Sentinel and rendezvous with Ohara. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite surprised they went with the more... South American style Atlanteans, but that's who is feels that Atlantis in South America or Central America and all that. It's one of the many theories. Just it's not one that you usually see in uh, pop culture media, like in games and such. Yeah. It's channeling Chakram. Vortex control a, ch a chakra, a, a, a charcum that ricochets chakram. off the walls. Chakram. Chuck okay, Rum. It's it's it, the second time it's misspelled. Yeah, R and K are swapped. Yeah, I see that now. <laughs> uh, I forget what the the yeah, cutscene button. Uh, the note, the screenshot the button is. So, uh, uh to the third, that ricochets off walls. If the uh, chalk from hits a special totem vortex, teleports to the totem. Okay, so th that's what they have. They infiltrate Creed's fortress again. <laughs> You see any holes in this final plan of Assault Cap? Actually, no. It's a solid plan. We might actually come out of this one with a W. If it passes the O'Hara test, then it's a plan I can get behind. I appreciate your gung-ho attitude about literally everything, Jefferson. Just be aware we could still very, uh, we could very well still, you know, die. Her blast, baby. Looking death in the face, that's just part of the job. Even running gun ho into possible deaths. We we gotta get you on a motivational poster. Hang in there. <laughs> the, the, the cat poster. Oh dear. <laughs> cap, bet you can bet you can't guess what we did. Based off of that massive explosion, I'd say you blew up a giant death bot. Don't quote me, but that might have been your best explosion yet, Jefferson. Really? You really mean that? Well, yes, you've been performing amazingly throughout. Yeah, you're crying now. I just don't get a lot of compliments, is all. I've always known I'm really, good, I'm real good at blowing stuff up. My next explosion will be two. No, ten times bigger than that. A hundred times bigger. And as the sky is filled with molten steel and people run screaming for their lives, I will smile knowing I've impressed you once more. Um. No, Jeff. Wait. I'm gonna get some C4 right now. Bye, Cap. Well, I hope that won't backfire. Yeah, definitely won't. We're all safe. <laughs> yes, definitely. And thus starts the arc of Jeff's villain arc, because he just wants to get complimented. <laughs> oh, no. And now, uh, what's in the new house? Hmm. Oh, 
Is it Jefferson, the moment of truth? Yee hee ha! What? Is your brigade ready? Hurrah, we are locked and loaded. Good, then go and bring Creed to his knees. His tyranny ends now. About to get loud. Make Blast proud, Jeff. We all believe in you. Hmm. Alright. I do suspect we're gonna end up needing to explore a bit more before going there. Hello? What's with the Power Ranger armor? True Protector. Adorned by those truly worthy of the title Holy Sentinel, this armor is war taxes to wear proudly. We need seven rune stones for that. So that's what. It, hello, look up there! Yeah, that's one of those for Jeff. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm, how are we to get to that? That doesn't look breakable. Nope. Wait, we need to do an up... Hmm. Wait, to remove young... Oh, for love of... Yeah, that's for just getting rid of this for the heart piece. Oh! Big Dummy, you have saved my friends, my people. Hell yeah, I did. Big Dummy is actually a big smarty. <laughs> you have my gratitude. But... Did you really have to save my brother? Or two is simply the worst. They don't call him or two the worst for nothing. <laughs> I'm right here, Fish Flake. I know, this is why I said it. Now, uh <laughs> if it's a fight you want, a fight you shall have. Tomorrow. Tomorrow does not work for me, that, but you will know pain on the day of my choosing, brother. Now on my watch, brothers gotta love uh, each other. When I come back, I, you two better be hugging. I demand hugs. <laughs> uh, they're both, they're hey. both the cowards. Oh, the gods. Let's see what the others had. Oh, there's more. Yeah. Hello, big dummy. Yeah, that's it. Vortex just chilling. Well, Red, what do you say? Ready to take down a madman? Born ready. That's unbridled confidence. That's what I'd like to hear. And here I was thinking the only sound you enjoyed was that of your own voice. <laughs> Mama always said, with a voice like this, it'd be a shame not to let the world hear it. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I could not agree more. Ready when you are, Blast Dog. So sure, this is it, the big finale. Creed's head on a platter. I guess, I guess after this, our little partnership comes to an end. Listen, I just want to say when it comes to you and Shady Spy stuff, there ain't nobody that does it better. Likewise, Jeff, your skill is admir admirable. It's been an honor. Now let's, fi now let's finish this. I wasn't expecting to get finale talk this early. Yeah, there could be a fake out. Galahad, my main metal man. You ready to destroy a giant robot and save some ancient arcane doohickey from the clutches of evil? Nothing will bring me more pleasure, my flesh fortune friend. Phew, high five. I'm afraid I'd break every bone in your hand if we'd high five. Rain check, woo. We're in the home stretch, big guy. You ready to do this? Aye. Soon I will we'll have my revenge against Creed. Tastes sweet, just saying it. Thank you, my friend. Without ye, I would have been long dead. Or worse. But now, I am ready to drag Creed down from his evil throne and complete my mission. I won't forget this, Agent Jefferson. Ye have me my word. Hey, Vortex, how are you feeling? Riding back and forth across the quantum dimension ain't the easiest on the stomach. I'm quite all right, Noble Jeff. Thank you for your concern. Until Creed's defeated, we'll be connected at the hip. Makes us strong, but also... Well, we were all strangers before we came here, so just know you can talk to us anytime, all right? Thank you, friends. But my life has been filled with oddities and the inexplicable. This is but another day. She's taking it really well. <laughs> yeah, 
When I was your age, I was throwing bottles at trains. We've lived quite different lives. Why am I not surprised that Jeff was a troublemaker? Are you ready, kids? I am Noble Jeff. Let us defeat the one called Creed and save my app. I'm psyched to have this holy, the Holy Sentinel on my side. No matter what happens, we will triumph. Together. That's right. Together. Let's go get him. Hmm. Yeah, we still do. I guess it's a bit of a. So, so, here's what we, we have three things we need to do. So, yeah, three areas likely still. <clears throat> yes. Jefferson, you've liberated the locals. Good. Good work. Did you just praise me? I, I think I might remember this moment for the rest of my life. Stop. The day I graduated the academy, the day Eddie Van Halen's limo ran over my foot, and the day Santiago de Armas praised my ability as a member of... Well, I take it back, I take it back. It's too late, buddy. My heart cannot be unwarmed. Thanks, old man. <laughs> Anything oh, new from you? Mr. Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson, good to, so good to see you. My associates tell me you've got a plan to defeat Dr. Creed. Stupendous, wondrous. Associates? You mean the locals? You call the local you call the locals your associates? Well what I can I what can I say? I like to network. Ukru and myself are catching a baseball game next time he's in Atlanta. If he ever manages to get to Atlanta. Has he been to Atlanta Wait. before? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> But hey, how about you take a look at my latest ship? It's powerful stuff we've got here. Surely something will trigger your fancy. Privilege, I'm sure I'll have to pay for. Eh, hey, good? You are so close to reaching gold status with War Inc.'s loyalty program. I mean, why stop paying now? Because it'll cost you more than it'll be worth. That does sound fancy. Alright, what do you got for me? Mm-hmm. Okay, here's the thing. Either Urku is lying, again, or they misheard for the human Atlantis, the ruins. Probably. Hmm. Oh, there you are. I was just about to say that I found it odd that there were no extra characters from the village here. Hello, big dummy. Yep. You were saying? Okay, I was expecting at least some other characters to appear here. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Let's try out Vortex's teleportation. Yeah. Because we know that then... there's been those totems around here. Yeah, for a look at time, I don't think we're going to be able to do more, too much more story, but definitely should have enough time to do some upgrade hunting. Go. Oh! One runestone. Okay, I, I thought these were going to be like that we'd need to ha activate them all. But no. Okay, so it's not. Okay, this is a bit more unique. So it's not like Samus. We, we actually used their, their thing to teleport before. True. I like it. Yeah. It, it, definitely a unique twist. The Vortex does look like he is small enough to crawl through, but this is faster and fancier. You do not, you do not have an attack uh, special yet. Probably will come later. It's up here. Yeah, I, I would. I don't want to be spending too much time just exploring for stuff, because that'd be a lot yeah. of backtracking around. Yeah, do we have about 25 minutes, so... Yeah, still... Let's look at Is some nearby bad? places, or places we can easily get through from fast travel points. Yeah. I mean, like, one hour remaining, I would say go for the story, but... Yeah, try to take down the nearby things. For anything that will help, I will uh, be very open for for. Have you seen? Upgrades yeah. helps a lot. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I tried getting here before, but that was just not possible without the double jump. Okay, a hard piece. Yeah, <laughs> look at her face. She is having the time of her life as she as she slides down. Oh dear. Okay. There. There. Okay. Uh, also, a funny thing I've, I've, I've ran into whilst exploring is that I'm pretty sure in one of the areas here, I actually managed to get into it from the the other side somehow. Okay. No clue how I actually managed to pull that off, even on accident. Because the way uh, the way it all was, yeah, how the way it was set up, it was like I was. It was pretty clear that you were supposed to enter through the other side somehow. Not where to go. Hmm. Ah, I see. Yep. I oh, see a thorn in my eye. Oh. Why did I have to say it like that? No, because, well, Vortex basically did just fly face first into the thorns. Yep. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Four hearts. But you know me and uh, show things in the eyeballs. Yeah. I need to not double jump there. There we go. But now it's back to the first of those spitters. Okay. There. And there. Okay, one more for our ninth heart. Which we could pay some schematic boxes for, but I think I'd rather we find a, a quote-unquote, free one first. Let's see. Oops. I rather you still more here. The, yeah, I want us to use those boxes on the upgrade of the village. Do you mean the weapon shop? Yeah, and anything else that may need it. Okay, where else is something hidden around here? Hmm. The feeling it's going to be hidden behind something. Oh, we got the box here. Wait. No. They think those were supposed to spawn earlier. Check through one more time. Hmm. Okay, I'm not seeing where this 
other item could be hidden. There's no fake wall here. Hmm. Okay, I'm out of ideas of where it could be hidden then here. Aim. Must be hidden behind something. It sort of looks like there is another room there. Wait. Or is that just there to let the slug crawl around? I think that's just there for the slugs to crawl around. Hmm. Okay. Let's head back then. Oop. See if there's any other spots close. <clears throat> any other spots close to fast travel points. And we can check those out. Yeah, for... Also, we can find one more health upgrade. So even more so we can find more energy upgrades, so at least we can have more abilities we can use. Yeah. Uh, okay. Also, if anything, we have barely unlocked all the skills. Or... I get the feeling Jeff's going to get something in the... <clears throat> nice. in the fortress. <laughs> oh. That's... Yeah, there's definitely going to be more crystals for batteries, and we know that there is one in the temple. Okay, so we're... Hmm. I thought we'd get sent back to the front door and such, but nope. But we did need to go destroy a robot in a volcano before going to the fortress. True. So we're That's... taking a long way around for it. it. Makes sense that the temple itself doesn't have a motorcycle in there because, well, it's an ancient freaking temple. Hmm. But yeah, we can get there easily enough from this fast level point. Uh, let's see. That one has a general surrounding clear. It's... There's something here. But it is a bit of a go-around. Hmm. And there's... Hmm. I see Hollows is 100%, okay. Nice! Uh, we can check that room there. Hmm. Okay, plateau. Okay. Ah, right, this one to here. Yeah, I might as well grab it so we don't get tricked by it repeatedly. Yeah, we, I, I tried a decent amount of time to get that one, but no, we can only get it with the double jump. And that's that. Okay. Like it's, uh... Wait, there's another yeah. room that we not explored in there, in the middle mm. of it all. And not, we have explored oh. it, because this one, it's just that there's something else in there as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's leave that for next time. Screaming Cliffs, we can check over there. Okay, also... Because all of them have something with kicking, yes. huh? <laughs> She's a bit too short to reach the pedals, but it still goes. Great. Okay. Just in case I manage to get myself killed. All right. Hmm. Can it actually cause damage, maybe? 
No, it passes straight through. And there's another room here that I oh, missed. Yeah, the, the thing with those guys is that they force you to keep moving, but to also not go back and forth on where you were standing too soon. I like I like the smoothness of the animation of him retreating into the background. Typically, yeah, that's only, if, typically with platforms like these, they only really darken to show that they are in the background. But they actually change position. Yeah, I kind of like that. But they, they do seem to be a bit of an annoying little jumping puzzle. There. It's wrong stick. It's the right stick that moves the boxes. There we go. That turns off that camera. Even though you think this would actually power it, but oh well. Oop. Ball's too rough to jump. What do we have around here, other than the elite moves? Yep, yep, that's jackass again. Okay, we could have run into them earlier here then, it seems. Of course. Oh, hello. Hello. Yes. Nine hearts. And that's all in this room. I'm now happy. I was hoping for at least one more heart. So we could get one more heart. Good. Hello. Freed Legion internal notes. Legion Arena. Fellow henchmen, I'm sorry to inform you that the Legion Arena will be closed for the foreseeable future. Don't worry, emergency repairs are already on the way. The two Joes promise that they will personally oversee the repairs, so that Feast of Bloodshed, Violence and Death will be back in no time at all. On a related note, registration for tournament and participants is still open, for impulse control and low self-preservation instinct preferred. Glory to Creed. What the heck? I probably should just get something a lot more permanent than this cloth here on my desk to lean my elbow on. Well, oh well. Let's see. Uh. Oh. Hello. Yeah, those having a comparatively absurd amount of health. Okay, one more. There is still more here. Nope. There. And that's that. Okay. Let's take Everything a look at that other room here, and then we'll probably call it. Yeah. Right, the locked. Let's see. That probably connects to the fortress. Okay. Let's head back then. And... Hmm. I might explore... Off stream, I might explore more around here in the temple and maybe the toxic ducts mm -hmm. yeah I, I think i'll stick to the the temple and the cliffs so i don't accidentally run into stuff that might be more fitting out for the uh <clears throat> for stream let's 
You see what it, you know, what a creed has done uh, to the uh, to these poor folk. Shackle them, prisoners in their own home. Wow. What's Creed want with the locals anyway? Is he trying to make a whole army of youths? Nay, only the brainiest of minds and brawniest of bodies can survive the cyborg in process. These damned souls would be forced to work the, me the, the mech yards in the volcano's edge. As if being stripped of your freedom ain't, enough, uh, ain't bad enough. No worries, freedom is kind of my own uh, thing, pal. A nice humble brag, by the way. <laughs> yes, I, I am a humble lad. It's not what I said. Onward! <laughs> Okay, so someone has a bit of an ego that they will not fully admit to. Oh dear. Let's just make our way back <clears throat> to the hammock. And yeah, I'll continue from there off stream. And for the next stream, I'll, I'll probably just start at the village again. Ow. <laughs> Guess we're fast traveling there. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to be absolutely sure that we put down an, a safe. There. Okay. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> we start off immediately with her on the <laughs> on the front page, huh? Wild child. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that went well. Um... Oh yeah. <laughs> he did have an annoying boss. No, it didn't feel as annoying as the one last week. Yeah, and I was better prepared this time. Oh yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. So remove the always on top from the preview. And change over the screen share so you can see as well. There, Twitch, live. Let's see. Okay, we have Misa and Aleph who are playing Dokapon Kingdom Connect. Okay, I had heard that Dokapon Kingdom got either a sequel or a Switch re release or something. I also know that that game can absolutely drive people mad. We have Chubbs the Moon Seal with World of Warcraft. Ruffer Raccoon is playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. K9 is playing Elven Ring. Kira Natsuyoko is playing Doom 2 Hell on Earth. It's been a while since we've seen them, I think. Edrim is playing Final Fantasy XIV. Horatius the Dwarf is just chatting with their Psychology Open House. Game soon to follow. Okay. And last but not least, we have Puffle Cakey with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, any of those sound of interest? Or shall I take a pick? Uh, Dokkan Kingdom, perhaps? I, I never heard of that one. Okay, <laughs> at your own risk. Double checking that the browser is muted. Okay. There, copy. Okay, but in a way, it's sort of like Mario Party if it was a massive RPG as well. So, yeah, you are fully intended to screw over your friends as well. <laughs> And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> like, uh, uh, the Runaway guys, they did a Let's Play of it, sort of. And I think it took them, well, of course it took them longer because they could only meet at certain times to record and such. But I think it took them a, a year or two to record it all in full. Yep, and that's the timer going off. You haven't even uh, heard about those YouTubes either. <laughs> okay, I should put a, oh, a link to that, though. To them, though. Uh, let's see. Copy the name. Uh, there. Then head to our place. Uh, Twitch is updated in terms of sale. Okay. And it's blocking, it's blocking the text box. Thank you for that, Twitch. Trying to force me to do something before. Uh, 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 let me take a quick look through this. Uh, purchase qualifications, payments, methods, subscriptions, refunds, and uh, page upon page of legal bullshit. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
forced to accept for the moment. Hopefully, probably won't be too much of an effect on me. Okay, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who is watching now or later. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Jess. And I see that Sensei and Noon have been uh, lurking in chat for a bit. So hello, you two. <laughs> and yeah, thank you as always, Luke here. Welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. And yeah. The, tomorrow, we can play Minecraft again on the server, since I has fixed, this by, uh, fixed it by rolling back a version, which means that the server was also rolled back a bit. Um, so some of the stuff I had have done with that has been undone, but it wasn't too big. I was mostly preparing stuff for the, uh, well, the server fair that is to come next month about, if, I believe. Uh, yeah, J July 27th, I think it was planned for. <clears throat> okay. And um, yeah, on <clears throat> on Mon it's likely that we'll return to multiplayer Monday since Liz managed to get Mondays off. Uh, it would make Garfield very happy, but we'll have to we'll have to make sure about things and such, like to see if uh, Hex and Ram are available and if not then we can try well some of the other games we've got ready for multiplayer. Like it, it's been forever since we played CrossCode, and hopefully, uh, Watch Dogs will go better now that I remove the lighting mods. It, it's kind of ironic that every game we, <laughs> every game we try to grow up with ROM manages to break in some way. Yeah, except one. Mm. Uh, that the one with the robots. Yeah, but that was more. Yeah, that wasn't more co-commentating than co uh, co-op playing, but. Yeah, true. still a good game. True. Sad it didn't make a sequel eventually, as much as they wanted. Hmm. Or may have wanted it. Anyways, enough babbling, I'd say. So let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well and have a lovely weekend. <laughs> and push out for seagulls. And Creed. Mm. Ha, 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 ha.